Okay, I'm Lee Abel, and I have the honor of speaking with Nkwile Dube, Lucky Dube's daughter, on her first tour of California. For first of many. Nkwile, it's such a pleasure for me to meet you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, what I would really like to know first off is going back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know where you were born and who was your early influence growing up? Um, I was born in Newcastle, which is on a, a very small town in South Africa. Um, my early influences were, I think, Tandi Somazwai. She's one of um, the greatest South African artists that we have musically. I mean, um, dance wise, because I am a dancer, you know, I try. I am a dancer. So, dance wise, I have Libba Matosa, um, my mentor, the person that made me, um, created the character that I am right now. So, right. And how about your family growing up? Who was a big influence in your family? My mom. Your mom? Yes, my mom. You know, she was not that much of a singer, but she loved singing. So, so when did voice. you start singing and performing? I started. I started performing. Uh, I think around the age of sixteen. I was more into um, dance then. You know, I was smaller, more <coughs> contained. Um, so I started with dance, but performing I started with the age of sixteen. Okay, and right now, the music that you are playing, is this mm -hmm. all what you have written? Yes, except two songs and the album. I co-wrote it some of the okay. some other artists. You wrote the music too, or the lyrics? Um, some of the music, and okay. I also co-wrote the, okay. the music as well. Okay. All right. Do you play any instruments? I play drums, but not professionally, right. but right. I, I can play drums. I can. Okay, yeah. and you will. <laughs> yeah, I will. <laughs> But last time I saw your dad, he was playing drums. Really? I a shot of him playing drums. <laughs> he was very excited because I don't think he'd seen a shot of him playing drums. Uh, so, uh, how is this tour going so far? How are you feeling? Wow, it's going very well. Um, the people here, they just warm. I feel the love. Um, there's people that we cry together, we sing together. Yeah, I just have, have been having a lot of fun. Okay. Yeah. So, how old were you when you realized who your father was? I was um, 18 when I realized, um, actually when my mom told me, um, because um, she told me that when I wanted to know everything that I wanted to know because she got married, um, so she didn't want to bring the drama in the house. So when I was ready, I asked her, sat her down mm -hmm. and she told me, she's like, okay, this is going to shock you, right? Apparently, okay, your dad, don't freak out, your dad is Lucky Dube, and I was like, Oh, okay. What do you mean? And you're like, Lucky Dube, the singer, the reggae, the dreads. I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's your dad. I was like, no. She's like, yeah. I was like, no. She's like, yeah. And then she told me if I wanted to go and approach and talk to him. Um, and she explained her reasons why she didn't introduce me to him at an early age because my dad was famous at the time. And, you know, she's a proud woman. She. She, she, she made her own way, so she raised me very well, so very happy about that. And I approached my dad and, yeah, the rest is history. <laughs> so how many years did it take you to approach him? <clears throat> Two years. <laughs> and what was his reaction? <laughs> uh, yeah, he was, he was, he was really, he, he was a funny character, so, you know, when we came into his office, uh, with a friend of mine, uh, Lebo Matosa, who um, created this story about me and my dad, I mean her and my dad working on a song so that I could come to the studio with her and then maybe he will see me, maybe he will say I look like him or maybe one of my sisters or whoever, maybe he will recognize me. Um, there was no song, there was no studio session, it was all made up so that um, my dad will, will, will be in the same room with me. So got to the office and they were talking business and I was just sitting there staring at him like I know he sees me, I know he sees me. And he had no clue. He was just looking at me like, why is she staring at me? <laughs> it was all weird for her. I was like, well, why is she staring at me? And then after a few days, I came back alone and I, I, I sat him down and I told him, um, apparently I'm your dad. I mean, I'm your daughter. And he just laughed. He just laughed. He just <laughs> called everybody at the office, everyone downstairs to come and listen to what I'm saying. Everybody was just like, what? No, because um, at that office everybody knew me as a singer, as a dancer and all that, so they didn't expect it from me because they wow. knew me. Um, but yeah, 
he accepted me and then the next day introduced me to his wife to his kids um yeah it was just it was just love at first sight basically yeah and you you had a very close relationship with him very close relationship very deep type of relationship he was very um if you were to talk about um after life type of deep you would talk about all those traditional things and things that he would want me as his daughter to take over or to send um, um after his passing i had to tell elders um this is what my dad wanted to do this is what my dad said this is how this is how this is has to be done and all this and that so <clears throat> um some of the uh, um grown-ups were surprised that how do you know such things traditionally because you're so young we have to teach you all these things i'm like no my dad prepared me he i don't know i think he was a prophet somehow um because he prepared me for all this he would tell me uh, when things like this happen you come down you do this and you do that which helped because um being being a celebrity his funeral was just everywhere it was just so you had to come down he you know he taught us that you have to come down deal with the situation and then go back to your emotions later so which helped a lot well do you think he had a premonition yeah i think he did um because i remember uh, a day before his passing he was um he said me and my brother down and, and he was um telling us um about life basically like we should go back to school finish this and do this and do that he would be angry if you just standing there doing nothing you know he would have this attitude about wasting time he always had this thing about wasting time especially the day before he's like what are you doing what are you busy with you're like uh nothing i'm just watching tv he's like isn't there something you can do with this time like this time he was always like obsessed with time the day before we were like we're just watching tv what should we do everything is done in the house right? so we didn't get it until he passed so i think what he was trying to say was um make sure every second you spend in life is counted for mm -hmm. i think that's what he was trying to say mm -hmm. And are you close with the, the three young ones? Yes, we're very close. Yeah. Actually, I'm more closer to Togozani because he's around. We stay yeah, in the same yeah. area. So the other siblings, we see each other there and then. But we're very close. We talk over the phone all the time. That's really great. Yeah. So what is your favorite Lucky Dube song? <clears throat> Slave. And why? Um, because uh, of the story behind uh, the video <laughs> when he shot Slave. Um, when he, he was taking a, a bottle, like throwing it away, like you know, he was angry, and then he cut himself. So every time he would tell the story, we all laugh now. So I think "Slave" is one of my favorite, favorite songs. Cool. Um, and tell us what your future plans are, and when are you having an album come out? Um, my album is out in South Africa, okay. and I think um, around the world it's going to be available probably in September. Hopefully in September. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully in September, it's gonna be available everywhere else. Um, my future plans. Ah, I would like to um, be half the artist my dad was. That's my plan. If you're half the artist your dad is, you'll do very well. Yes, I think I'll be doing very, very well. And could you just to finish it up? Could you just describe your music for people who may not have heard it? What they uh, would expect from your music and what they would expect from a show mm -hmm. seeing you. Yeah, um, my music is um, is a mixture of jazz, um, reggae, and uh, African African type of, of rhythms. Um, so you put it all together, you get Nguli Duke. So that's what my music is about. Um, there's a lot of messages in there. There's a lot of fun songs in there, light songs. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing about songs. If I can say that, nothing about. <laughs> Yeah, so it's a fun album and it caters for everybody. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I'm so looking forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you.